Page 12, Promenade, 4-4 four, four time, 1 sharp, so we're in G major or E minor, well look at the end, last measure you hear, ending on G's, I'm guessing this is G major. Right hand first, let's just make sure, note wise, I'm hoping you by now you're kind of getting an idea of these notes, they're not too much of a problem, if they are, you need to go back to the method book, whatever it is, and do it again, you may be going too fast. Take your time going through these books, please. So let's do the rhythm and the notes. We got one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and. You see that in the second line, first measure, you have to cross over the thumb. You're not moving the hand around, you're just catching one note, that's all. You do that, you get the same thing in the third line, second measure, it's the same move. However, in the third line going on to the last measure, you got to reach up the octave here. Just reach up and get it, and then collapse. You, you, you can move up, but I like to feel my way around the keyboard, and I can feel that octave, so I'll just go up here and then collapse. Even though I'm going to lift up. So I can lift up here just fine. That's the way I do it. If you want to stay here and lift up and move, that's up to you. But I do that. Then the last line, we're here. One and two. Now you lift up and move down. Little, little from here to here. We're taking advantage of the slurs here, so you're lifting up between slurs anyway, so you lift up and move here. over again. That's the right hand. Left hand, you're starting here. The F sharp. Don't forget the F sharp. Four. Pretty much. Third line down, last measure. Here. Reach down with a little finger, one more. You're not moving the hand, you're just reaching down with a little finger. Moving around in the left hand at all, except for reaching down with a little finger for one note. Okay, that happens. Put them together slowly. Well, to me, it's slow. Uh, you go whatever speed you got to go. speed you got to go to get that even. No hesitations, no glitches. It, there, you can speed it up after you get it, but work it out first very slowly. Let's go to the third line. All these eighth notes here. Does that sound familiar? It's the same as what we had above, so... two measures are the same as the two measures we just did. The last measure of the first line and the first measure of the second line. That's nice. Then go on, the last measure of the third line up there. And you get those two measures again that you've already had twice. Then go back and add the articulation. Most of the articulation is going to be in the right hand, so this left hand you just connect these notes. So you got stop staccato, nice light wrist staccato, short staccato. Now here, the first measure of the second line, when you end it with here, and you go to the second measure, lift both hands up. So there's just a little bit of silence as we go on. We get down to third line last measure. Now both hands are staccato. Now the left hand continues staccato, but now the right hand's connected. Now they're both legato. So you're getting a little bit of staccato in the left hand. That's nice. Then go back and add the dynamics. 
It starts out loud. That's the right hand. Keep the left hand sort of down. I don't know how far down. You'll have to be the judge, but we want to hear the right hand. Now you're, you're going to echo that. So you're going to play it softly, so the left hand has to be very soft. exactly the same as what we already did. It's like they're just doing it twice. Let's go down to the third line last measure. Again, you're going to play it loud, the right hand, loud first time. But when you repeat it, now you're going to play it soft. So you notice that it happens to be similar to the first two lines or three lines or so. What they've done here is the message, the melody there, then they just played it again softly. Well when you get to the third line after the repeat sign, this it's a different melody but what you end up doing is repeating that too. So really you've got Two melodies, four measures long, and you just, that, the whole piece is like that. Two melodies, four measures long, and you're just playing them multiple times. Typical of this time period and romantic time period, you, you get a lot of repetition. Almost too much in my opinion, but you get a lot of repetition. It makes it easier to learn the pieces because the long piece isn't so long anymore because once you've learned the first part of it, you, you know most of it. Speed-wise, on Dante, it's a, a gentle strolling speed. You have to decide. It's, it's a... It's not slow. It's not moderato. It's just a... To me, a moderato is like a walk when you're walking someplace and you know where you're going. It's not a fast walk. It's just... You're, you're on a mission, you're going someplace. An andante is like a stroll in the park. You're just leisurely going along. That to me is andante. You have to learn it first and then you'll feel the dynamics and you'll feel the tempo. It'll be different at different times and that's okay. I like to play this slowly with you to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do dynamics, just notes and rhythms. But I am going to do the repeat. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one.